Hey guys, welcome to the new house. Uh, I'm sitting in our kind of great room is what we're calling it. Uh, this is where I have some of my amplifiers set up. Uh, it's where I'm going to be doing demos for a little while uh, until I get my demo room finished above the garage. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a run through real quick of the sound projector because I've been egging you on with this thing for the past couple of days. Um, this is version two of, of this amplifier. Uh, it is in a brand new cabinet. Uh, I wanted a second shot to make something even cooler than it was before. Um, I had Max go through, this used to be a projector, like a high school class projector. You can tell because it's a motor, a lamp, and it's, I don't know what an exciter lamp is, but it's a switch on there. So I um, had Max go through this. The tube lineup is uh, the exact same as a, like a Supro. I don't know if it's a Super or what, but uh, two 12AX7s, a couple 6973s, and a 5Y3 rectifier. Uh, I pushed, nudged, I should say, Max in the direction of a Valco style build. Uh, we did pretty good at that, I'm going to say. Uh, you might hear the little bit of hum in the background. I am using single coils, and this is a hundred year old house with old power. I did not bring my power conditioner with me. Bear with me here. Uh, I'll take it back into the shop tomorrow and I'll give you guys a clean demo. Uh, I can be loud here right now, so I'm going to just crank it and show you guys some of the grease that this can do. I'm just using my Telecaster right now. I am dimed on my guitar. I'm sitting at one o'clock on the volume here and my bass and treble is at noon.
legs off of this amplifier. It's as simple as twisting them off of there, and then the mounts just act like fender metal slides. Uh, if you would like, I can put rubber in there to transfer it a little bit more. I am noticing it will like to skip physically around a little bit just because I have it on pure oak slab right now. But uh, the feet negates any of that, and then just a little rubberized coating or maybe a little bit of felt under that would just fix the problem here. But I just wanted to show you guys how physically big this was compared. This is just the Supro 1616T. Uh, this has the, uh, the oval speaker in it. This is a 12 inch. They are the same, same size of a cabinet, almost to a T. Um, but I was able to fit a little bit more in there because of the, the style of the chassis here. It goes in an L. If you can kind of kind of see that by how it's sitting. So that's uh, like I said, that's everything on right now. Let's get that all turned off. Let's go. Just dying. I'm gonna switch back to the back. Come first, serve. Uh, whoever gets it gets it. It is. It is my favorite uh, favorite amplifier that we've done so far. I've got a bunch more coming out. Um, if that's not in your price range, right next to you, um, I have the American Racer. I have done a couple of videos of that. If you'd like me to show you anything on that, that one's only 800 bucks. I've got it marked down to. Uh, same thing on top of it. This is a Marshall style, uh, British style, 18 watt, maybe not quite 18 watts, but uh, it is up there too. This is a Screamer. I'll have another uh, video of this just going insane overdrive here, uh, maybe tonight, probably tomorrow. It's getting, getting a little bit later in older people time, so I might not do that. But uh, 800 on both of those, and I'll give you a discount on a matching speaker cabinet if you want a quote-unquote Charmander cabinet to go with this one. Um, other than that, I've got the uh, 2x12 filled with the greenback speakers up there. Uh, it does have a matching head cabinet with it. You don't have to buy that. It's going to get pretty expensive altogether. So if you would be interested in just the greenback, um, there's so many different kind of wood species I used on that thing. It is just a beautiful cabinet. Um, and I believe it's a pair of 78 greenbacks in there. They just sound killer, especially with one of these old Marshall styles. But uh, I'm going to do just a little bit more clean to play me out here. Get my bass up, got my front on, a little bit more treble.
actual stock RCA 6973s and the stock GE 5Y3 in there. I don't think that you can get any better than a mix of Bullard and RCA glass in your amplifier. That's my personal opinion. Some people insist JJ's, there's no difference. Some people insist soft techs are no different. But uh, this is what all of these are a mix of different kinds of GE, RCA, or Mullard glass in all of my personal amps. And I try to put the same in any of the amplifiers I send out to you guys. Um, that being said, EL84s, those run hot, 6973s run hot. I have a limited warranty with everything that I send out. Uh, you send any of these amps back to me with any kind of fault other than tubes or something going on them. I'll have Max work on it, I'll foot the bill for that, and it'll go back to you. All you have to do is pay shipping. Like with this, I, they, they do make 6973, I think it's Electro Harmonics makes them. Uh, they're not exactly the same, I guess. They will, they will hold the same specs and they will work fine in that, but apparently the consensus is the, the RCA glass is what you want. Um, but if, if I were to keep this myself, uh, Max has this biased pretty cold. It is, it is still loud, it is filling this great room just fine. Uh, it is hot too, it, it sounds great, but he, he made sure not to be putting too much stress on these power tubes. If it was mine and I was going to be playing this out, I would take those RCAs, I would put them aside in a box, I would put a new set in there, have them biased hotter, and see how I liked the amplifier. If, if it's a deal breaker, pull them out and put the RCAs back in there. You can still find them. Uh, but uh, just for reliability, I would always suggest power tubes. If you're taking it up on stage, put a newer set in there. Um, but uh, I can always try to find a set of those. I can always have Max buy us something in there and I can send you the originals. Uh, same thing, there's excellent Holland Amperex EL84s in there. Uh, same thing if you want to put a newer set. I always suggest Russian. I know we've got whatever scare this month going on for sanctions and whatever. Who cares? But you can always find a set of EL84s. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, I have just so many house projects to get to, so I'm going to be priming and painting a mudroom today. Um, I might play this a little bit more just because it is really, really fun. Or I, I might switch over to the, the PM1844. But uh, yeah, reach out to me if you're interested. Uh, it sounded like a, a, a past customer had to talk his, his wife into letting him get another one of my amplifiers. But that says something too, that dude already owns two of my amps and he would like to own a third one. Uh, so, oh, my cord's going out there. Yep. Anyway, thank you guys. Have a good rest of your evening.